In this video, I'm going to show you some interesting and useful things you can do within the Mesh Viewer, such as instantly get cut fill volume calculations, display the mesh by elevation or slope colors, show contour lines, create animation videos, and much more. I will briefly explain each feature. Please see the CAD Earth help to get more detailed information. You can import a terrain mesh from Google Earth using CAD Earth. But for this video, I have imported a terrain surface from a civil 3D land XML file. Please check out our other videos about different ways to import a terrain mesh to AutoCAD using CAD Earth. To display the mesh viewer, you can select the command from the CAD Earth ribbon, toolbar, or menu, and then select an existing terrain mesh in your drawing. If you have imported the mesh from Google Earth, the image in the corresponding place will be projected onto the mesh. You can also link an existing image in your drawing to the mesh using CAD Earth. The Mesh Viewer window can be maximized to show more detail. You can change the position of the camera by orbiting around the mesh or by the observer's point of view. You can also pan the view and select from a list of predefined views. The sun position can be defined by selecting a point in the graph or by typing azimuth and elevation values. Colors for the surface, background, lighting, and wireframe lines can be defined. The image link to the mesh can be hidden and the wireframe lines can be displayed. Awesome video animations can be created defining camera position and view direction, speed, and pause time. The resulting file can be opened in any MP4 compatible player, such as the Windows Media Player. You can save the current image to a file or insert it in your drawing, selecting from various predefined resolutions. In the Camera Settings dialog box, you can define the camera position, view direction, projection type, and other configuration values. You can move the camera backward or forward in the view direction. Camera views can be created, edited, saved, or deleted. The Measure tool allows you to measure distances, slopes, and angles on the surface or along the XYZ axis and planes. Defining a rectangle over the surface, you can view a cross-section of the area. The rectangle can be moved, scaled, or rotated to adjust the area and the cross-section view will be automatically updated. The cross-section can be moved forward or backward by a step distance. You can maximize the window, zoom in or out, pan the view and show a reference grid. Also, the Z-scale factor can be changed to see more detail. The projection type can be changed from perspective to orthographic view to see the mesh as it would be seen in a drawing. Instant cut fill calculations can be obtained selecting polygon points on the surface, an existing polyline or mesh in the drawing. The area will be colored according to the depth and color defined for each cut fill range. The comparison surface can be made horizontal to get watershed volume calculations. You can edit, add or remove ranges or select them from a list of predefined ranges. The total cut fill calculations will be instantly updated, also for each range. The swell shrinkage factors, a summary table, image, and grid settings can be adjusted. You can insert a summary table along with the plan view in your drawing. The mesh can also be displayed with colors according to defined elevation and slope ranges. The color can be applied to the whole surface, defining points on the surface or selecting a polyline in the drawing. The total calculations will be shown instantly and for each range. You can also edit, add or remove ranges and select from a list of predefined ranges. Summary tables for elevation and slope analysis can be inserted in the drawing also, along with the corresponding plan view. Contour lines can be instantly displayed defining contour colors and the gap between them. Please see our videos about other new commands added in CAD Earth 6.0. Thank you.